Now, I'm not a betting woman, but if I was, I would say that, and I'm going to make the assumption now, that whenever we get the Gen 3 Mustang, they, they will be placed here. and welcome to today's update video. Today is quite an interesting update. We have Horses of Jorvik uh, returns today for an endurance race on South Hoof. This is a brand new race. And I'm very excited to check it out. Apparently there's gonna be some sort of weather effect with rain. Um, so that's gonna be interesting. We also have 40% off uh, horses, three different breeds in Jorvik. The Akulteki is right now 510 star coins. The Mawari, which is found at Golden Leaf Stables, which is right behind me, uh, they are 570 star coins. And the Arabian, which can be found at Goldspur Farms, is also 570 star coins. And these prices are va valid until April 12th, which is when the game updates. So, uh, there is that. Uh, Horses of Jorvik, obviously, we're gonna go check that out. But first, I, uh, there, we have another Horses on the Move update. Uh, so, obviously, behind me, all the Mawaris are here, which, as they were beforehand. But now, all the Trek Canners can be found at Golden Leaf Stables. So, I believe, if we walk over here, because I remember, I think some of them were at Silverglade Vineyard before. Yep, and they're all here. And also, all Generation 2 horses have been moved to the horse market. So now it is from every different barn location you go to in Jorvik, it's all Generation 3 breeds. No Generation 1, no Generation 2, no Generation 1.5. It is all generation three breeds now which is what the current standard is uh i'm also going to go through this list before we go do the race and buy some horses because obviously i'm on zenyatta and i don't have a mawari to train i don't have a arabian to train and i don't have an alcohol tech to train the only alcohol tech i don't have is the one in the app right now uh so before we even do this uh, get into horse buying. I'm going to go around and show you guys all of the horses that moved. So we're going to go ahead to Marley's farm, see which horses moved there. So let's go. All right, you guys, so we are here at Marley's farm and the Percherons are still here. Uh, and the Halflingers have moved here, which I think they look very nice in this, uh, in Marley's barn. So this is the new location of the Halflingers, which is Marley's farm. All right, so the English Thoroughbreds are officially at Silverglade Vineyard, as well as the Lusitanos. And I do believe I see quite a bit of space for future releases. And you can see Crescent Moon Village is very empty, but two uh, generation uh, Gen 3 Yorvik Warmbloods. Oh wait, pretty much all the Generation 3 Yorvik Warmbloods are here. So this is where you can buy them. They are in Crescent Moon Village. Also, all the Yorvik Wild Horses are now only available in Redwood Point. I don't believe they're available in Veildale anymore. I think they're all moved here. So which kind of makes sense. But it was kind of nice in the beginning just having them in Veildale, but I understand why that they would just move them all to Redwood Point. And Dundle has got all the Connemara ponies, 
along with the North Swedish horses and Clydesdales, which were already here, but the Connemars are no longer in Berksgrange. Which now means Paddock Island is empty, and Berksgrange is completely empty of horses. Now, I'm not a betting woman, but if I was, I would say that the Lippin's Honors, when they get their Gen 3 model update, will be at Silverglade Vineyard, and I'm going to make the assumption now that whenever we get the Gen 3 Mustang, they, they will be placed here. I, obviously, I know that they were obviously going to eventually move all the Generation 2 horses to the horse market, um, but seeing this now, it's like, okay, maybe these are the next breeds to come up. So, we shall see. Uh, but. That's just the little horse update info there. All right, so we're gonna take a look and see what horses they had, because they, they said all generation uh, two horses were moved. So I see the English thoroughbred, I see the Shire, I see the Pentavian, the Morgan, the Appaloosa, the Paint, the Mustang, uh, Hanoverian, Halflinger. Uh, I believe these are the Frisian sport horses. I believe these are all Gen 2. If I'm looking at them right, that's what it looks like. All right, so, oh, we even have the li Lippin's Honor here, okay. So, Gen 1 uh, Frisian, Gen 1 I uh, Irish Cobb, uh, Gen 1 Andalusian, uh, Perfect Pony, uh, Arabian, Gen 2, uh, Gen 1 Frisian Sport Horse, Let's see the next one. All right, so that's, these are some of the warm blood breeds that are generation one. Uh, Gen two Frisian. Uh, and the Icelandic horse is here. So all, everything that is not generation three is here. So from generation one, 1.5 and generation two, they're all here. So that's good to know. And I do believe this horse, the North Swedish horses are the latest uh, that will go. That will retire on to greener pastures. I have all of them, if I remember right. But anyway, we have other things to talk about. So let's get into that and stop talking about this. Alright, you guys. So, uh, obviously, the Arabian... Arabian horses, the Bawari horses, and the Akletex are now discounted. Uh, like I said, I actually need two more Arabians, and I need one more Mawari, and then I'm done for those breeds. Because I, I do like collecting them all. I think it's a cool thing to do. You can't necessarily collect them all in real life, but you can in Star Stable, so it works. Uh, so we are going to go ahead and buy a Mawari and an Arabian. And then we are going to go try the new race, probably on the Arabian, just because it's more retrofitted to the newer tech. So let's go ahead and get ourselves a Mawari. Now I have to find the right color. And it is, and it is the white gray. I have, do not have this horse, and I've been wanting this horse for a long time, but I always told myself eventually it will be discounted, and this is a pretty good discount. 570 star coins is a pretty good deal. So let me look at main styles, because I don't really remember what main styles this one had. And this one's going to be a mare, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and keep the long mane. That makes more sense. Alright, so let's go ahead and buy her. I have a name for her. Ocean Quartz. I think that's a very good name for her. I actually really like it. So this is going to be a mare and she is going to be an adult. So we're going to go ahead and buy her and then we are going to go buy an Arabian. And then we'll come back, check them out, and uh, take our Arabian to uh, the new race and see how that goes. Alright, so we'll send her to the stable. Alright, you guys, so here are the two that I need. I ha don't have the white-gray, and I don't have the black. 
So I decided I'm gonna go with the black because I recently got this one, the bay, the uh, dapple gray, and let me see if I can pull it up. The flea bit, which is this one. So I decided I am going to go with the black one, at least for now. And whenever the next time the ravens are discounted, I probably will get the white one. But this guy is so cool looking. All of the ravens are really cool looking regardless of their uh, markings. They came out really nice. Uh, so I am very excited to bring this guy home finally. I almost kind of like the braided mane style for him. But I also like this. Like their normal long mane. So I think I'm just going to go with this for him. Or wait, let me see this one more time. Oh, I really do like the braids on him though. Ah, uh, nah. You know what? We're just going to keep it this way. Alright, we're just going to keep it original. I really don't ha I really never change the Raven's main style because it's all the old styles. And some of them look great. Some of them just look meh. It doesn't mesh well. So, we're going to go personalize him. Alright, so he is an adult, but he is going to be a stallion. Alright, so I don't have a whole lot of horses with, uh, starting with the letter M. So I figured Marzipan Knight was a really cool name to give him. Uh, and I like it personally. It's different. I don't see a lot of people with the horse's name Marzipan in it. And Knight, because he's like Black Knight. I think that works well for him. So we're going to go ahead, buy him, check the horses out at our home stable. And then saddle up and check out the new race. So let's go. Alright guys, here are our newest additions. This is Ocean Quartz. She is so pretty. I have to highlight these face markings because they're just too cool. I love the pink to the gray on her face. And part, if I can move this, okay. The reason why I also named her Ocean Quartz, because if you look on her muzzle, it almost looks like ocean waves. So that was like really cool. And if you, if you look at the eyes a certain way, it almost looks like, oh, like water from like when the oh, ocean like hits a rock and it sprays up. That's kind of what it reminds me of. That's kind of why she has the name Ocean Quartz. I would prefer if she would have had blue eyes, but the brown is actually a very nice color regardless. Love the gray spots and the little uh, dappled details. Very cool looking. Alright, and this is Marzipan Knight, which he is also very, very cool. Love those brown, like, chocolate eyes. Chocolate brown eyes. I love that you can see, like, the little, uh, in his nose, you can see the pink little flare of his nose inside that's really cool detail i think there for him and i love the little white marking he has on his face you really can't tell with the long mane oh but there see he kind of showed it there very very cool very happy to have these horses in my home stable finally all good things all right you guys so we are here in south hoof to try out the uh, a new endurance race. This is going to be very interesting. This is a brand new race. We've never had this race before. And you need an Arabian, an Akalteki, or you need a Mawari. And of course, I have an Arabian right here, ready to go. So we are going to go ahead and test out this race. I'm definitely ready. Alright, this should be interesting. Alright, here we go. And this is an endurance race, so I have no idea how this is going to work out. Alright, 
right, which way am I supposed to go? Okay. sure what that means. Oh, do I see a ship in the background? I think I do. Oh, what was that? Oh, that's thunder. Okay, that's, that's, that's good. Oh, it's raining. Okay. like a shipwrecked boat. And I got distracted by that. Okay, turn around. There we go. from races we've had, so I'm all for it. different from races we've had. So I like this. This is very cool. Hey. Well done getting through that storm. Love seeing your horse in action. Yeah, that was very cool. That was very interesting. I like that a lot. Especially because I have some of my uh, elite for championship gear. Of course, I can't use the saddle pad, which I'm very sad about, but that's okay. And we boosted up to level 3. So that's that's a pretty good deal. Alright, so that was actually a really cute race. I actually really enjoyed it. It's very different from uh, races that we've had before. Where it's like you have to jump or uh, doing different things like equitation. Uh, working equitation, that is. But this was very cool. Very different. I enjoyed it. It was very interesting and very cool addition to our endless amount of races that we seem to get, especially the horses of the Yorvik races, those are always cool. So the last thing we are going to do when we're at Moreland, and no it's not a limited time thing, it is actually the Bobcats got some upgrades, so we're gonna go around and see if we can find any upgrades. I can't tell if she looks different or not, I think she does a little bit. Yeah, she definitely does look different. So, let's go see the other bobcat girls. Oh yeah, they definitely look different. They look almost like the newly updated ones, but Tan looks... I think Tan looks the same and Loretta looks the same, but I'll take a closer look in a second. Yeah, they, I, I guess they kind of look a little different. It's kind of hard to tell. Oh no, there's definitely differences. They look a little bit more crisp looking, I guess is the right word for it. But that's cool. Always nice to find small surprises. Alright, you guys. So, 
that is pretty much it for today's update video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I definitely wasn't planning on bringing new horses home today, but that's just how it goes sometimes. Uh, with these Horses of Yorvik updates, and you, you end up getting discounts and you realize, oh, there's horses that I don't have that I could definitely go ahead and buy. So, there you go. Uh, so, I absolutely love my two newest editions. I've been wanting these horses for a while. But lately, I've been holding off buying horses because we eventually just get discounts anyway. Unless they're like a new release or a new magic horse or among those lines. But I really enjoyed the new race as well. I think it's a very, very cool addition. I love that there's a thunderstorm and you're riding for the rain. That's So uh, next week, you guys, we have a quest line. Anna's been asked to help train a young horse from Yorvik Stables, help Cayenne learn to be a better horse. So we're going to have a quest line with Anne and helping her train a horse, which is kind of funny because I also have a horse named Cayenne, or at least one I nicknamed Cayenne, which is this girl right here. So that's kind of funny. Maybe I'll ride her for the update. I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, guys, that is it for today's update video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I most certainly enjoyed this update, and I can't wait to see what else is in store before the big equestrian festival in April. So as always, you guys, remember to keep it positive. Happy trails, everyone. I will see you in the next video. Bye!